I don't know if I should say greetings or hello or how to start this thing, but after years of searching, I finally found myself a Chulix Arcade Cab, and it came with one of these programmable coin acceptors with no instructions. So I looked to the groups in the forums and I did find a lot of help, but I did read a lot of stories where people were experiencing all kinds of wacky behavior from these things. It was mostly with their USB encoders. They were causing just weird stuff to happen. They would work intermittently or they just started putting coins in forever, like a turbo, like button was stuck on turbo or something. But um, personally, I couldn't even get the thing to work on mine at all. So I came up with this simple solution so if you have one of these coin acceptors, or if you have one similar, this might be the solution for you. Now this method assumes that you are already delivering the required 12 volts to the coin acceptor. It will not allow coins to go through it without power. Also, make sure that you have inserted the reference coin and that you're able to get coins to pass through the bottom of the coin mech. What you're going to need is one of these coin switches. These come standard in the larger Suzo Hap style coin mechs. Affiliate link in the description. You will need to connect the common and the normally open, marked NO, to your USB encoder the same way as any other arcade push button. Then you're going to configure this button as your coin input in the emulator settings instead of the coin acceptor. When this wire gets pushed down, it closes the switch, and your USB encoder will see this as a button press. You need to bend and position this wire so that the weight of the coin will push it down as it falls through. Just mount it below the coin acceptor and as coins feed out the bottom, they push that wire down and activate the switch. Fortunately, on my Chulix cab, there is this metal tab on the mounting bracket which is sized and drilled specifically for these kinds of switches. If you don't have this tab, you will need to find a way to mount the switch beneath the coin acceptor, either with some scrap material or an adhesive. Just make sure that it allows for coins to fall through and that there's enough room for the travel of the switch. And that's it. You can ignore all those adjustments, the switches, the sensitivity trim pot that's on there, because we've bypassed all of that. And we've isolated the USB encoder from the 12 volts that were connected to the coin mech. The ground on the coin mech is bonded to the electrical ground of the 12 volt power supply, and it could be causing a ground potential difference between the five volts ground of the USB encoder and the 12 volts of the power supply. And maybe that's why we were getting some of that strange behavior since the USB encoders are five volts grounded to the PC or to the console and the 12 volt is grounded separately. If there's any electrical engineers watching this that could give us a better explanation, please leave us a comment and let us know. And please leave a like and a comment if this has helped you out. Thanks for watching.